Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Minx and right now on this video we are going to go over my two favorite cleansers that I currently use right now. So the two that I'm using right now is the Origins Checks and Balances. Can you see that? I don't know. Eh. Eh. Come on. Meh. Nah. That's good enough. Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. So you put this one on, you add a little bit of tepid water to it as it explains on the back. So you clear the eyes and it foams up really nice. Uh, it doesn't feel really tight or parched whenever you're finished with it and you rinse it off. It's really refreshing. Um, the scents in it really make me happy because it's got spearmint oil, it has, la it has lavender flower water in it, and it also has bergamot leaf oil. And bergamot is the Asian citrus and I love the way that bergamot smells. So this is a dead ringer winner for me. Favorite of all time, champion. Second one is the Elizaveca Milky Piggy, come on. Elastic Pore Cleansing Foam. Now you're, if you're wondering why it's such a weird name, it's because it's a Korean brand and I love K-Beauty. They're so innovative and their skin looks amazing. But that's because they do like 20 different things to their skin every single day. Now that's a lot to keep up with, but on the days that I've had the patience to go through and do that, my skin has felt amazing. And this stuff is interesting because it claims that it has spider webs in the ingredients list. Don't ask me what it does for you, but by God, this stuff is incredible. It's black. So it's a little scary, but when I use this, I kind of put it on as a mask in the shower and I leave it on for about five minutes. And then once that five minutes is up, add a little bit of water to it and work it around and it starts to foam up and it's kind of like sticky. Like if you put it on your fingers, you would see like the stringiness and that's from the spider webs. And I would tell you the ingredients, but they're all in Korean. So look at it. Now price point wise, this is $22 at Sephora, Sephora inside JCPenney and at the Origins counters uh, in Springfield where I am. There's one in the Dillard's. I'm not sure if Macy's has one too, but I've heard that. Um, but those are the places that you can find it. $22, awesome deal, five ounces. Now this one, if I believe correctly, I got it through Mimi Box, which is a K-Beauty slash Asian Beauty subscription box. Uh, I say subscription, it's not really like a monthly subscription thing. You basically pick the box that you want to buy. Um, and this was, I believe, $34. Um, it, I mean, it was worth it to me to spend that much on it. Um, it mainly has like a very fresh kind of, almost like a vanilla smell to it, where this one kind of smells like spearmint and the bergamot. Um, but I like them both. And I definitely like to bounce back and forth between them because I feel like they really uh, make my skin feel really good and happy. Um, and I will put down in the description box down there links to both of them. So that if you want to try them out, you can either head to your Sephora uh, or your Origins counter and get a sample of this one. Or if you want to find this one online, I will also uh, put a link to that one in the description as well. That way you can find that pretty easily. Thank you so much for joining me. Even though this was a super short episode, I just wanted to basically give you an idea of what I use to take care of my skin as far as cleansers go. Now the rest of my skincare, uh, that's going to take forever to do a video about. So I figured I'd just do the short one today and then do the rest of my skincare in a different one when I have more time to film. Uh, because today it's really, really rainy outside. It's already like 3.30 and the sun, I feel like, is not going to come out and it's not going to be good lighting the rest of the day. So um, this is all I've got. Um, we are looking at moving to a house in the next few months. So uh, whenever we get there, I'll have my own room and I'll be able to do all my filming in that one bedroom and it won't look like a holy terror mess by me. Thank you for putting up with it. 
Thank you for watching my channel. If you like the video, if you want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button up there. Um, leave a like. Let me know what you thought. If I'm annoying as all get out, I would like to know. So thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.